Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I've got a problem with my pond, specifically the island. I built this about 18 months ago, I think, and we absolutely love it. The grandkids love it. We hang out there and fish. We're planning to build a second bridge across it. I've already got the materials up there, but what's been holding me back from finishing it is an erosion problem. And today I want to talk to you guys about what I can possibly do with it. I mentioned this in another video. I got hundreds of suggestions. Mostly they were pretty similar to each other. And I want to talk about why I'm, I'm struggling to understand if that's going to work or not. And I want to walk through what I think the challenges are and see if I can get some more feedback from you guys. But first, just real quick, in case you're new here or you've forgotten, I want to walk through how this was built and how it's shaped and let's just do a little recap. So this shot right here shows you what the pond looked like when we first bought the property. Now we have done a ton of other work to this pond so if you want to see all of that I've got a full recap video that I will post links to at the end. But right here you see us digging the expansion. And there's a strip of land separating the original pond from the new pond section. And we did not design this pond island when we were digging. After we were done, we decided to leave an island. Now here's the important part. If you look at the shape, it is a straight drop. There's no slope to that sidewall of the island. And it's about six foot deep right there. So once we decided to leave an island, then that meant I needed a bridge, at least one bridge. And I found one that just needed a little bit of work. Here you see us setting it in place and covering it with deck boards, which I then treated with a Thompson's water seal. And I set the ends on concrete blocks, drove rebar pretty deep in the ground that wrapped over the bridge, and then poured the blocks full of concrete to anchor the bridge in place. Not bad, but probably should have done a more substantial anchor. After that, I built the windmill that you see in this shot. It is an American Eagle windmill that aerates the pond as it rotates. And I absolutely love this windmill. The windmill itself is anchored to a 6x6 concrete pad that I poured in that frame behind me. So we've got this side that is not eroding off because it's got something under it for support and this slopes out. And we've got the same amount of width we had before. Other than needing weedy, this is the same. These are the piers that are going to hold up the new bridge. Now what we've got here is this is a chunk that has broke off. And I'm going to say probably a lot more chunks have broke off. And then this is our big damage spot. So to me, this drops straight down six feet. There's no slope to it at all. If it had slope, you could put riprap up it. But without a slope, I don't know what. It feels like you would have to stack a ton of it way out there. For those of you who already knew all this, hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time retelling the story. But I'm actually wanting to do this. I'm really wanting to take your advice and go up on the hill and get a lot of rocks and use them for different things. And I'm wanting to fix this. And I think the rocks may be the best way to do it. But what I'm trying to understand is number one, what type of a machine will I need to reach from this bank over here? We're talking about over 20 feet to place those big rocks. And because what I'm picturing is taking enormous rocks that weigh like a 2,000 pounds and setting down in the bottom as a base for it and then trying to pile bigger rocks on top of that. But it feels like to pile small to medium sized rocks vertically six foot doesn't work. It's got to have to be sloped out 
So I'm gonna have to fill a large volume of this side with rock for it to work. And of course, frogs and snakes and baby fish and everything else will love that as a place to hide and, and not get eaten by the bigger fish. But I'm just trying to picture how it works. And I think no matter what I do, I'm going to lose this edge right here. But if those rocks are piled up, that edge will just kind of crumble and mash into where we pile the rocks and it might work. So for you equipment guys, how big of an excavator am I gonna need to make, to reach that and to hold that kind of weight out across this void? Let me back up and show you the distance, see if we can get a feel for it. I'm guessing I'd be parking the excavator here and I'd have at least a 20 foot reach with a lot of weight. So, I mean, bigger than five ton excavator. I've never ran a machine that big, but if I got that size of an excavator, could I use it over here? Because I'd also like to dredge this out and take some of the muck off the bottom. So I'm wondering, could I get a big enough machine to do that? And I don't, I don't really think I can rent a big enough machine to dredge the whole thing. But it's another thought I had. As I edit this video, I've had all day to think about this, and I realize that I may be overcomplicating this, which I sometimes do, but I'm thinking that if I just got the rock down there with the skid steer or the tractor, I could literally take it across that bridge by hand or in a wheelbarrow and just continually dump rocks that are, say, the size of a basketball off that side that's eroding and if I just kept dumping those medium sized rocks in eventually they will pile up on their own to the point that it's holding most of that back and the very top edge may still erode but I don't think it'll be as bad as it is right now oh yeah and don't forget to check out that pond recap video it's probably my favorite thing I've ever published now the last question here I think whenever I do that bridge I'm gonna make a bigger concrete pad like what the windmill sets on that maybe goes almost all the way across that side that'll prevent erosion right over there I was almost wishing I could make a bigger concrete pad for under this side of the bridge but there's nothing to set it on I'm not sure if I could manage to form that up properly but on both ends of this bridge I'm gonna set a concrete pad four foot wide at least anyway hopefully all the work I'm doing on this isn't wasted, but it's not because we've already gotten so much enjoyment out of this little setup. So I'm going to keep plugging away at it and hopefully get it figured out. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.